Hi kids! Today we will learn about the role of forces in our daily lives. So let's get started. Kids, everything we do in our daily lives requires some forces. Even if we are standing or sitting, some forces are acting on us. Opening a door, which is a simple activity, and it requires the muscular force to rotate the doorknob. Cycling. Now let's see how many forces are required while cycling. First one is the applied force. The one who is cycling is applying his muscular force to move the paddles. Then is the friction. Friction is a force that always opposes any motion when two surfaces are in contact with each other. So here the friction force is between the surface of the road and surface of tires. If there would be no friction between the tires and the road, the tires will keep on moving very fast and even slip off. It is because of this friction or the opposing force that we can balance the tires. Friction force is also acting between your hands and handles. If there would be no friction, it would slip off from your hands. Friction force is also there between the sole of your shoes and the paddles. If there would be no friction, your shoes will slip off from the paddles. Everywhere where there is a grip, it is because of the friction. Next force acting here is gravity. Force of gravity pulls the cycle downwards. There is also a force acting from the ground, which is pushing it upwards. So there are different forces acting while we are running a bicycle. Gravity is pulling down. Ground is pushing upward. Friction is opposing the movement. Applied force or muscular force is moving it forward. Now let's see another example. Let's see forces acting while we are hammering a nail. Applied force or muscular force is pushing the nail into the wall. And friction, it is opposing the movement. Now let's see forces acting while we are running. We are applying muscular force to move forward. Gravity is pulling us downwards. Friction. As we know, friction is the opposing force for any movement, so it opposes our movement and also prevents us from slipping on the road. Air resistance is also a type of friction that is posed by the air and prevents anything moving and decreases the speed of the moving object. Now let's see forces acting while we are playing a striker game. We apply muscular force or applied force to move the striker ahead. Friction. Friction is always there when the two objects are in contact. And here, the striker and the board is in contact. So, the smoother the board, the lesser will be the friction. And the rougher the board, the more will be the friction. Here, the surface of the board is very smooth, so it possesses little friction and the striker goes very far. Now let's see forces acting in this table fan. Mechanical force. Blades of the fan are moving fast through the mechanical force of the motor inside the fan. Moving air force. Moving air has force that blows away the lighter objects in front of it. And here are the forces acting while rowing a boat. Let's see. Muscular force. We are using the muscular force to move the oar of the boat to pull the water backwards and move the boat forwards. Friction. It is because of friction that we can hold anything firmly. 
we can hold the oar because of the friction between our hands and the oar. If the oar is slippery or the hands are slippery, we cannot hold it. Gravity. Gravity pulls the boat downwards. Buoyancy makes the boat float. So kids, we use forces in everything we do intentionally or unintentionally. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.